Hi, my name is Steve and welcome to another quick tutorial with Luminar Neo. This time I'm going to be looking at the face and skin tool. After we finish our model shoots, we often have to spend a lot of time in post-processing, cleaning up the skin, brightening the eyes, saturating the lips and so much more. But thanks to the face and skin tool inside of Luminar, we are able to use AI to detect these parts of the faces for us and give us the capability of brightening, darkening, cleaning up with just one click. It saves you so much time. We're going to be looking at those tools today with a model shot that I have and we're going to see just how powerful these tools are. So let's get started. To begin with your edit, you can drag and drop your photo over into the catalog window just here or you can press add photos here, find it in your documents and select it. Once all that's been done, you can press the edit button here at the top and you can get started. But before we use the skin and face tool, we will want to make sure that overall our image is looking good. What I mean by that is there is a tool called face light which brightens up the face as a whole but we don't know just yet how much light the face needs. So we will want to develop the photo first and then use the face light tool. So let's just do a quick edit. I want to make this one look pretty moody with it being uh, such a rainy night. You see my model and I, uh, my model Yejin and I got absolutely soaked on this shoot. Bring down some of those dark tones and then I'll add some color as well. It's just gonna be like a quick edit. Okay, and then I'll add a little bit of vibrance and saturation. Mm, not too much and that's looking good. All right, so once you're happy with how your image looks, close up the develop tool and then scroll down to the portrait section just here where you can see we have quite a few tools but we're just going to be concentrating today on face and skin. Let's start with the face first. Now you'll notice that I've not had to tell Luminar where the face is, nor any other parts of the face for that matter. I'm simply just going to use this slider and slide that all the way up and down and you can see that it's only affecting the face. We are getting a little bit of bleed through onto the shoulder here and that's perhaps because the shoulder's just across the chin. But that's not a problem, we can fix that so easily. I'm going to go into the masking tool just here. I'm going to press brush and erase, make sure you select erase. And then using this tool, I'm going to just erase away the, the light on the shoulder, I don't want it there, so I'll use that and to see if that worked, I'm gonna go back to adjustments, use the face light tool and you can see it's no longer affecting the shoulder, just the face. It's that quick and simple, it's so easy to use. Let's move on now to the eyes. You can see the eyes are quite dark, they're in shadow, so let's make them stand out a bit more. I can use the eye whitening tool here and it's only affecting just the whites of the eyes, not the eyes overall, just the whites of the eyes. And you can see that they're now standing out more. I can also use the eye enhancer tool. The eye enhancer finds points of light inside of the pupil and it makes them sparkle and stand out. So it's a very useful tool. Let's use that as well. And we can also, we don't need to use anything else in this section, but we can use the improve eyebrows, maybe just a little bit. I don't really think it's needed, but just to show you how it works, it usually darkens the eyebrows and makes them stand out a bit more. Maybe for people more with fairer hair, you would want to use this uh, considerably more. All right, so once that's been done, move down to the mouth section, and here we're just going to saturate and make the lips more red, stand them, uh, make them stand out a bit more. I don't want to darken them. We also, we don't need to use the teeth whitening tool. You can imagine what it does, but they're not really on show here. It's not worth using. I don't think it would really see them. That's looking very good as it is. Let's look at before and after. And that's such a dramatic difference. And how much time has it taken us? Barely any at all. Once that's done, close the face tool and open up the skin. Here we have two sections, so I can boost up the amount. What this is going to do is smooth over the pores in the skin. This is common practice when it comes to uh, working with models. And you can boost that up as, uh, as much as you like. I don't really need to boost it up much in this shot. And the other section that we've got is, uh, the other tool that we've got, sorry, is shine removal. We often want to get rid of shine um, from models' faces. This is because it can be quite distracting. We've got shine here on the nose and the side of the face. 
and I can mute those highlights by just boosting that and we can see now the dramatic difference that that has caused. You've also got skin defects removal tool, another AI tool. This is if your uh, model perhaps has acne scars or anything like that. You can just get rid of them with one click and you can refine it as well. Again, you've got the masking section here. You can tell Luminar exactly where it needs to go if you just need an extra bit of refinement. But that is done. Let's have a look at how much change that has affected our photo. I'm going to go to the edits tool here. This gives you a step-by-step -step process of how you edited your photo. I'm going to go down to develop just before we use the face tool and you can see the dramatic difference that it has had with this photo. It was as simple as that. So what I want you to do is go ahead and use the face and skin tool on your photos with your models and just see how much fun you can have with it and how much time you can save most crucially. Once you've done, upload your results and share them with us using the hashtag MadeWithLuminar and we'll check them out. I'll be back again for some more quick tutorials very soon, so I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.